How do you do? We're about to unfold the story of the Bride of Frankenstein. She's alive! Alive! A monster created from cadavers out of rifled graves. A tale that sent my blood into icy creeps. <laughs> Would you like to hear what happened after that? Well, we warned you. You've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast that dissects the Universal Frankenstein film series minute by minute. I'm Bill Evenson. And I'm Tom Lang, and you join us for Minute 59 of 1935's Bride of Frankenstein. Henry and Pretorius are working on the titular character, and uh, they have a heart that uh, not quite Sorry. doing what they want. I, I'm, I'm resisting the urge to make a titular joke. I know. You know, it's, you know. I, yeah, I thought about that. Eyes up here, Tom. All right. <laughs> yeah, and you thought about who you were talking yeah, to, and you knew I, there was going to be As trouble. I said it, I regretted it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I forgive okay, you. Thank you. Victoria <laughs> <laughs> um, had asked in the previous. This is only previous minute. Is 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 it life? Yeah, is there life yet? Ahead. No, not life itself yet. This is only the because this word has always confused me since I was a child. Oh, because he says it strangely. It, the word is simulacrum yep. of life. Mm-hmm. Uh, it means uh, uh, not not the real thing, but a, a, a simulacrum a of it. But what's great about it is I've always noticed that Clive says it wrong. He says simulacrum. That's what I mean. That's, the, that's the word. I know. Yeah, it's funny that I think we're, we both yeah. have the same notes. So then yeah. I went and looked in the script. And sure enough, it's spelled the script wrong. says simulacrum. Yep, it's spelled wrong in the script. So I Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you Google yeah. it? Yeah. And all I found is people talking about a, mispron- a misspelling, misspelling of simulacrum. Yep. There's no such word. Nope. So I, and, and, the, and the subtitles say simulacrum, yeah. as do the novelizations. Right. So there you go. Yep. So uh, Simulacrum. So Hurlbut mistyped it, and it just has lived in infamy. Or else they took my notes from last week about not using terms for real things like saline <laughs> like solution saline solution which yeah. i uh, uh, and they went well, let's make something up no i think it was just a typo yeah uh, it is a representation or an imitation uh, like a caricature iconography an automaton is a simulacrum oh okay a hologram right. also the monster himself is a simulacrum of a human being. sure i guess so makes sense or, i like it yeah solve that mystery right. for the ages <laughs> <laughs> Are the homunculi simulacra? I suppose Absolutely. They are. So, like a golem or golem? Oh, sure. Well, it's and it's a funny thing for him to say. Not, not the actually. Lord of the Rings thing, but are there golems in that? <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, he's in in Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, the golem. The, oh, is there? Yeah. Not, oh, golem. I'm sorry. Golem. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Uh, leave that in. It was. Uh, I don't know uh, anybody's damn name. Dumb on my part to try to <laughs> try to make a joke about it. So. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> but it's it's an odd thing for Henry to say in a way. Well, I mean, he's he's not wrong because I guess it's it's it's. Fu- I'm not complaining. He's not wrong. Yeah, it's just you're not wrong, Walter. You're just. It's an. an I shouldn't say odd. It's an interesting thing for him to say because that's what we're doing here. You know, the the point he's sort of making is it won't beat on its own. Yeah. It's, well, hearts don't do that. So you're doing. This is the magic you're doing, here. right? This is what but it we're says doing. it only beats when the current is applied. Yeah. So. Well, I, so does mine. Exactly. But. That's where I was, <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to phrase it. Yeah. Everybody's heart yeah. only beats when the current is applied. Right. The human heart. The human heart. So you were saying the human heart. The human heart is more complex than any other part of the body. Uh, is the, it though? The, the brain might <laughs> beg to differ, but <laughs> he's already got that covered. Seems to he, me the brain has got a good argument that's what I'm, uh, yeah. for first place on this deal. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, the heart, the human heart is complex, and complex... I'm sure there are complexities to it that I'm not thinking of. But I personally feel like I understand how it works. That's mm-hmm. how simple it yeah, is. Yeah, it does. It has one. It's job. a pump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the brain, the brain, yeah, yeah so. your heart wouldn't pump 
without your brain telling it to. Exactly. No. Not for long. Nope. I will say this, though. It's an interesting thing for Pretorius to say because Henry kept a human heart beating for three weeks. Like, it seems to me like he's saying, yeah. this is Henry's do his thing. thing. Yeah. He's, he's letting Henry do it. Right. You know, Henry's got to yeah, figure out how to get this heart working yeah. because without Henry... This We're is gonna hopeless because it's the most complex thing in the whole body. We'll have a three-inch <laughs> tall bride rather than a six-foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do they? Oh, they must have hearts. I mean, that. Uh, to, uh, I mean, I'm sure we covered yeah, this ground, yeah. but the the homunculi are way more complicated I, than I, anything I, we're I doing here. I can't imagine how you would do that. <laughs> <laughs> and to sew their clothes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then little props exactly. and things. I mean, yeah, that was that was quite a feat. He, like he, he downplays. Well, you would have thought. He downplays uh, his contribution a little bit. If I saw <laughs> those things, I'd be pretty impressed. Yes. Yeah. I was just thinking about the incredible shrinking man, as I always do. <laughs> as you are wont to do. As I am often want to do. <laughs> I know that really captured my attention when I was. A oh kid yeah, before. it's uh, that really it's still uh, made me think. Film, yeah. Especially that ending, you know, it's got that sort yeah, of... Yeah, and I would write, like, a little comic book. It's got that sort of metaphysical it. ending. Yeah. That, yeah, like, no matter how small, I still exist. Yeah. Do you, do you watch the Ant-Man Marvel movies? I saw the first uh, one. I haven't uh, seen the, the Touch on one. some of that same stuff, obviously, because it's the same idea. Yeah, they, they do they do touch on So, w- yeah. there you go. Even in the first one, though, yeah. there's, like, a limit to it. You get too small, and you're it's getting into some Cosmic and, yeah. Surreal or whatever. If you watch the second one, it actually ties into the plot of the structure of the whole series too because they eventually use that technology okay. to travel through time there you go there you go it's bill's bill's, bill's digression marvel movie week. minute i'm sure there are more to come <laughs> yeah oh yeah believe me i've got a couple stored away <laughs> yeah he says uh should i increase the current yeah. and uh this is one thing i noticed that we talked about this film is getting more rapid it stops beating but we should preface that by saying that the heart stops beating yeah henry's crestfallen and and then pretoria said should i increase the current and then we no well and then we take like a two seconds on just henry's face as he he's he looks like a guy who's giving this consideration and isn't a hundred percent sure what he's about to say and that that that's what i think is a great thing that Clive brings to it. He never seems like he's just a guy who memorized the script. Right. He really sits and he's agonizing about it. Like, well, yeah. I mean, I, I, you almost think he's thinking, oh, I mean, we could increase the current. I mean, I, I suppose we could try it again, but uh, no, yeah, this no, one's useless. useless. You know, he just finally yeah. blurts it out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he looks, uh, he and looks, so I literally like that we stay on his face for a couple of physically, seconds. Physically, he looks physically pained by this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the way he takes his gloves off. Like, no. No. Useless. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> guys, just always just banging on stuff and like, no, <laughs> it's just that asshole at work. Is, uh, you know what I mean? Khrushchev at the UN with his shoe. <laughs> he takes his shoe off. He's pounding on the desk. Starts desks. banging it on the table. <laughs> no, <laughs> yet, yet. I don't know. Well, there's you know anybody younger than much younger than us are they're not going to get that one. I barely get that well, one. You have to have seen the um, footage. Well, I've seen it, but I, I did it before I was born. Oh yeah, it was before I was born too. But yeah, <laughs> you know, it was part of pop culture when I was growing up. Yeah, that's 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 a good point. That part that reference probably doesn't come up anymore you're not no. going to see that on uh <laughs> i don't know mr mayor or whatever's on tv right? <laughs> it, <laughs> so all, that show's it all called? goes back to ted Danson. yep went from the good place yeah i actually watched the first couple it's not going to be in uh, jimmy fallon's uh, uh monologue oh, he's not going to reference khrushchev banging uh <laughs> taking a shoe off and banging on the colbert might yeah colbert might that's a good point when he says the heart is useless i i noted this in the script he says yeah this heart is useless i must have another and it must be sound and that's all he says. It must be yeah. sound. And I believe in the Dreadstone, he says the same thing. I don't know if I looked in the uh, Edgermont. But uh, in the movie, yeah, he no, says, but, but, yeah, and young. Not, yeah, there's a pause. He says, yeah, it must be sound and young. He pauses before he says. And, he, and his eyebrow goes up. Yeah. One eyebrow goes up yeah. and young. It's yeah. very menacing. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's Henry crossing over a line that he hadn't really crossed before. Yeah, and it's hard to tell for sure in between this minute and next week where he where is he, and where he thinks yeah, he is. Yeah, 
And I think it's because he's so lost. He's in an, uh, it's an ugly business. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, we, yeah. we referenced that yeah. from, from day one <laughs> at the beginning of Frankenstein. <laughs> That yeah, this this isn't totally. this is not something that normal people do, yeah, or at least should do, <laughs> <laughs> right? So when he says sound, uh, yeah. and then he's like I said, his eyebrow goes and up, and he looks at Pretorius yeah. and says, "And young." There's a there's a temptation at least to think that he knows what he's uh, what saying, what he's asking for, <laughs> what he's asking for, yeah. And then Pretorius thinks a second, and then I, I, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself because he's going to say more yeah, later. Pretorius thinks a second, then just casually, Carl. He's like, I know who could do this. This is Carl. there's no question yeah. what needs to happen next. There's, and then yeah. when when Carl yeah. comes over, I, I was going to mention this actually earlier. That device that they're using is kind of cool. It's got sort of pine cone looking things on the top of yeah, it like that poke up. Yeah, on this. And yeah. when Pretorius walked over last he minute, framed, he was framed them. between them. Yeah, his face was between them. Now it's now it's and Carl. now he's seated, and Carl comes yeah. over and he's yeah. framed between them. I wouldn't even be surprised if I had one up on the wall. I don't. But uh, it's it's a shot you've seen in a. Oh right. Yeah. Publicity stills of Carl. Yep. Yeah. It's a great, and he's, yeah, it's, it's a cool looking thing he's, got he's that playing with. Halloween <laughs> flashlight lighting on his face, too, so he looks creepy. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah. Halloween flashlight lighting. Well, I, I like think that's that. you, you'd refer to it as that <laughs> at one point. <laughs> oh, no, no wonder I like it. <laughs> yep. And yet, what we need is a female victim of sudden death. Can you do it? You know what I think is interesting is in the script, he doesn't say female. No. Which is probably more accurate. I can't. I, can't, I, I, I don't, don't think it would think make any there, difference. There's a difference in hearts. Yeah. Maybe just the size. Yeah. But females I might, suppose the might size. be more petite but well you had mentioned the titular character that <laughs> they're don't even so yes I don't know why they need a female one I, I also wanted to ask you a question um, uh -huh. what is an accident hospital yeah it's a good question I think it's like just the emergency it's an board. odd phrasing yeah go to your friend at the accident hospital so I actually googled that and there is a place or was a place called the Birmingham accident hospital I didn't read up on it too much but I guess it was for um, rehabilitation of people who have been in terrible accidents Accidents. Okay, that's an odd place then to go harvest. Not what we would need here. Yeah, I would think. Uh, <laughs> not not a place to harvest. I would think you'd want to go like to the morgue, yeah, start exactly. there and work your way up. And it says morgue okay. in the novelization, I believe. Yeah. Is it that? I don't remember. It's oh, one of, yeah. Yeah, it's in one of the novelizations. Morgue seems to make a lot more sense. Yeah, I would think. But I don't know. It sounds cool. Your friend at the accident hospital sounds kind of cool. It just gives I it another. I wouldn't want to go to a place called an accident <laughs> hospital. It just sounds really it sounds like awful. Like like you go there and all the doctors are like, you, I like don't know, that Monty Mr. Python Bean uh, or something. There's just, there's just slapstick. The Monty Python, uh, the Mister Pither, when they're at Which, the, the hospital and like people are falling over and the window keeps slamming on the nurse's hand. There you and, go. You know what I'm talking about. Right? <laughs> That's exactly. You're right. Yeah. It's an, it totally so it's an, it's an cuz it's uh it's Graham Chapman and the hand keeps yeah. Yeah. Ah! Tush. yeah. And it's really cheesy looking. It doesn't look oh, like no, it's it hit like his hand, hand at all, but, but it's that's hilarious. That's part of the fun, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. that's what I picture as an accident hospital. <laughs> that's the accident hospital. <laughs> you go to have an accident. And if you think about it, one of the good things is you could probably get away with making a, making off with a, with a <laughs> body because they wouldn't yeah, even notice. Yeah, just mayhem all around. Mayhem. Yeah, it's the guy from the commercials. All right. You promised me. Yeah, here is something from the from the Dreadstone. It says, mm -hmm. "What we need," Henry said, to make sure there was no unnecessary delay, is the heart of a victim of sudden death, perhaps. He suggested with a shiver, one of its victims, oh, I mean the monster. presumably meaning wow. the monster. Yeah, which I think is a nice little touch. As much as we talk, you know, not so nice about some Every about the novelization. something good. Every yeah. once in a while, there's something like that. I like that idea. That's that's good. Yeah, although I don't know how fresh that would be anymore because it's been a while since he's killed anybody. Plus, now that I think about it, the only thing I know about the monster's victims uh, in the next film, Son of Frankenstein, is that every single one of them has their heart has exploded. Heart burst. Yeah. So that's no that, good. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, no, I don't, <laughs> that's, I don't think that's, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> I mean, it, it's good for like poetic uh, justice or whatever, but uh, yeah, or not justice, but just the, the poetic quality of it. Right. But practicality, I don't think is quite there because like, how long has it been since he killed anybody? It's been a while. That in this the Newman's, I'm thinking the last in one of the novelizations, <laughs> at least when he abducts uh, Elizabeth, he kills someone. Yeah. That was guarding her, I think. Yeah. Peter's father or something, oh, Peter's was, son, Peter Martin, or, or something like that. that. Peter's, yeah, son of, son of, yeah. <laughs> Who cares? 
Well, it's kind of cool too, actually. I, I wasn't sure if I should mention it on the podcast when we talked about that minute, but it, it's a kind of a cool thing that Elizabeth doesn't realize he's dead because he's been propped up, but his head is down because he's got his neck broken oh, by the right. monster. It's a perfectly good heart right there. Go grab that one. Yeah, yeah. That's just waiting. It's ripe for the picking. Mm-hmm. They promised Carl a thousand crowns. And I looked up crowns. It's a currency still used in Norway, Sweden, uh, Denmark, Iceland, and the Czech Republic. Jeez. Yep. The crone is in, really? used in Germany, and there is a crown in English money as well. Now, the rate of exchange. I've, I've seen it in uh, video games when the yeah. kids and I would play, like, okay. kids' video games. Yeah. You buy crowns to okay. exchange for different things. Huh. I didn't realize it was that. So Because um, I think it makes for a really nice generic currency. Yeah, it, it doesn't set it at any specific, like, a right. thousand pounds or a thousand dollars. Right. We really don't know what it's worth. Uh, but according to Wednesday's rate of exchange, <laughs> a thousand Czech karuna is about 46 bucks. Okay, so they uh, they, they, just, they promised of, Carl forty bug. six bucks. Well, this is this is twenty twenty one crowns, not eighteen whatever crowns. The Danish krone it would be about one hundred and sixty two dollars. Oh well, then I'll get, I can get you I can get you a fresh young heart for that. No problem. The Norwegian krone is about one hundred eighteen dollars. <laughs> so either way, he's not getting the payout of a lifetime here. Okay. It's not like uh, Carl just won the lottery, though. He's pretty excited about it because he keeps repeating it as he's leaving. He says it a few times. He says it, uh, I think, I believe, next yeah. next minute. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I also, you know, uh, with inflation back in uh, <laughs> yeah. this time period that we don't know, you know, right. who knows? Yeah, maybe but, a thousand uh, crowns bought a lot. I, I guess I do want to believe that Carl comes cheap, that he's greedy yeah, he's and he's so... willing to do anything for 160 bucks or whatever. It yeah, is. yeah. No, I, li- I do like that. He's not going to be rich. Because, I mean, Pretorius just gives him a few coins in the crypt earlier. I don't know how many crowns that would be, but... Uh, oh, yeah, right, right. he obviously... Yep. He, in the script and uh, early edit of the film was willing to kill his family for a few crowns and jewels and whatever. So yeah, he's greedy, mm-hmm. more than willing to uh, go procure a fresh young heart for 16 bucks. It's kind of an odd... Or 40, 46 bucks. It's kind of an odd thing what we're left with in the film because I, uh, you, like you mentioned his family and I do think of Carl that way. But the film doesn't the film have doesn't, him do that at all. No, but I... It just I, doesn't happen. I still think of it as part of the story, yeah. Because yeah. it, it gives him texture that I, I wish it was still there instead of what replaced it because the the Newmans and the Gypsies are on the fire. Meh, it's okay. But I think yeah, Carl I, 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 I'm with the you. But I guess Carl would have been. I think it 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 actually makes this part a little bit better, really, because if you watch Carl, and we'll talk about this next minute more. Yeah, he does start to do that little muttering to himself thing mm-hmm. in this one. It, it's it is a big deal for him to go and kill. Yeah, it's a, it seems like mm-hmm. to me. So I, I think that works better if he isn't on an actual <laughs> killing, killing spree. spree, which is what was in... Yeah, yeah. sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Henry says, what we need is a female victim of sudden death. Can you do it? I, I really like the way that's phrased because it's very yeah. specific. Henry is asking him... It really sounds like he's asking him to murder Go a young on. woman. Yeah, yeah. A sound young woman. Yeah, it does. That's how it sounds to me. Yep, absolutely. And we'll have more to say about that next week. But it just seems like Henry knows what he's saying. And if he doesn't, I mean, well, it's, we'll talk about it yeah, more next week, yeah. I guess. And it'll be well worth it, and the Baron will pay. Uh, the script, he says Henry will pay. Yeah, I noticed that. Any significance to that at all? I, I don't know if there's any significance to it, but I like it better that the word Baron, I'm guessing, only a in this movie appears i'm guessing he's the only person that says it I think like so. he, that's his demeanor he refers to henry as the baron mm-hmm. he referred just a couple of weeks ago to the baroness yeah elizabeth as baroness. the baroness yeah. yeah he likes to talk in terms of titles he says mistress to well i think it's almost taunting them with it i agreed the baron uh, okay. and also yeah. also he's he's talking to carl carl wouldn't address henry as henry you know, oh, I, I see think, what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to phrase it, but yeah. There's there's, there's a familiarity that wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't exist. Yeah, yeah. I, I see what you mean. Between <laughs> Carl, Carl and, Henry, and yeah. yeah. Like if he said, Henry will pay, then Carl turns and says, yeah, okay, yeah, Henry, yeah, yeah, you know, you're yeah, going to pay. You know, that doesn't which would be weird. All of that works with uh, the word Baron. I was, I was about to say, does Henry ever even talk to Carl? But he says, can you do it? And he must be talking to Carl. Yeah, he, he, he talks to Carl later too. Okay. 
up on the up on the roof. We'll get we'll get there. Yeah, that's a ways off, but there you go. Okay then, Carl can't wait. He takes his smock off and starts to run out of the room. That's right. Do we actually go through the wall, or is that next minute? That's next. next We're gonna minute. go through the wall. Yeah. Again. All yep. right. Look forward to that, everybody. <laughs> Join the conversation at Frankenstein Minute Village. Mm-hmm. We do get some. Uh, we do get some conversation at Frankenstein Minute Village. Yeah. When yeah. There's going been a on. few things that were posted. Uh, usually that's where uh, Doc Ivan posts his uh, fabulous artwork. Pretty much weekly. Pretty much weekly these days, yeah. He's got something great. Yeah, usually there's something that, that makes me laugh out loud. So Should we? Do we have any ideas up. for what we need? Uh, yeah, no. It's better if we I, don't request it. I, I like to be surprised because yes. uh, he's, he's always got something clever. I do think we need to make uh, Frankenstein Minute Army patches. Yeah, we've got the logo. We're all ready yeah, to go. Yeah. I mean, maybe we could put it up on Redbubble. Well, that's what I was hey, thinking. visit Redbubble. That's one we yeah, never mentioned. Yeah, no. Redbubble.com slash Franken Minute. There's a bunch of shirt designs. And you can get one of think, oh, three or four shirt designs. I think there's yeah. maybe six. Because of the there's logo like you're wearing now, there's uh, the Goldstadt University Medical Department shirt. There's the Clive Clark Bowles Karloff shirt. There's Chaska's own Edward Van Sloan. That's right. And then there's one of Henry just screaming, it's alive. I think that's it. So five. And you can probably get those as, I know you can get them as like hoodies. Oh, yeah, because I've got, I've well, got You can a, probably get them as like, I don't know, phone, phone case. cases and stuff like that. Oh, masks. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, we have, we, are, we, have, we masks have masks for, uh, for these troubled times. There you go. Good night. Good night. <laughs> 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 <And> bye. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Stop stopping. it. Yep.